The end date on this round of streetscape work that started in Huntsville in May is finally coming to a close. By mid-November, we should start to see the work wrapping up and Main Street will reopen to traffic. But the work is far from over, with the stretch of Main Street from Centre to Lorne still needing to be torn up. Mark Misko with the District of Muskoka told me where they are at now in terms of the work that's been finished and what we can expect to see come late spring. It looks like the remainder of the season will include work where they're actively working now up to the main and center intersection. We're not going to proceed into the intersection. That's going to be right out of the gates next spring is the intent. Um, so you should see, ideally, based on the schedule we just got sometime mid-November-ish, um, they'll be kind of closing down for the winter, uh, buttoning up the site, so to say, and uh, removing the detours for the season and that'll allow us to undertake winter operations through the entire downtown core. So things will be back to normal for a bit for the winter and then spring kickoff. So what I'm hearing from you, I guess, is that we're not going to be seeing that finished section to open until all of it's pretty much finished at this point, I guess, right? More or less, yeah. We'd like to get it to the point where if we are going to open it to traffic, um, the detour route that's essentially in place right now can be lifted and it can go to uh, operations as as normal for the winter and then um, what happens is once we go into that intersection and then towards Lawrence Street that does affect some of the detour routes we have um, so just to keep it straightforward and simple um, we're going to keep the detour in place uh, until like I said roughly mid-November depending on weather uh, and working day availability um, but that's the plan right now. So looking ahead you're talking about this intersection getting torn up next year um, I, you know that obviously means that traffic isn't going to be able to come on to Main Street from center on either side. Um, will we see, I guess, we're probably going to see a detour um, coming around through West Street onto Main, or are we going to go back to the old detour that goes all the way around Main Street down to Brunel? So initially in the contract, uh, we had looked at keeping that intersection open for at least one direction of traffic the whole way through, and that was a bit of a modified detour plan to what you're seeing uh, currently in place. We're, we're talking to uh, the contractor, uh, Dufferin, out there about whether or not there's a potential to close that intersection fully. Uh, I think it would uh, expedite their work in there and allow them to get it done faster and, and safer um, based on some of the excavation depths we have. So we're actively working with them on what that detour would look like and how long that timeline would be in place right now. And the anticipation is that we'll be sharing out uh, the results of that well in advance of the spring startup. So everybody will know kind of what where they're going to be driving in advance of uh, any closures or anything like that being re-implemented in the spring. I, again, considering that these detours aren't really decided on yet, I do want to kind of quickly address the fact that um, this work is going to be from Center to John, or sorry, not John, Lawrence Street. Um, so again, um, is the potential that we're going to see that detour from Lauren down to um, Center Street on that other side, or is would we see the detour kind of go the other way through past Huntsville Public School, um, you know, around again? Just wondering what the thought process is of the district right now in terms of where potentially people could be, you know, just so people can prepare for what that could look like. Sure. Um, and once again, we're going to send this out um, well in advance. Uh, you'll see it before the snow is, is even melted. Um, we'll have that established. Um, it's looking like we're able to use uh, Lorne and one of the uh, side streets across from it as potential detours for that center and it, uh, center and main intersection work. Mm -hmm. But once they're out of that intersection, it's, it becomes more of a local detour in that that center and main street uh, intersection will be open and downtown's available at that point for that left turn movement uh, as you're coming in from uh, along Center Street Bridge there. So so once that's established and we're, we're out of that intersection. Um, and it's safe for traffic to go through there without any of the operations going on. We'd like to open that up and that'll essentially open up the largest part of the downtown core to normal conditions of traffic while they're working towards Lawrence Street. Once that's done, the intent is to just essentially pave that top course the whole way through downtown. So there'd be a mild disruption for that, but it should go fairly quickly. Mark, just wrapping up the conversation, um, we had discussed last time that the rainfall had really um, you know, been a detriment to the work and, and pushed things back in timing. Um, has there been any catch up or are we pretty much in line with what was happening due to the fact that the rain was causing a lot of issues? There has been some catch up with respect to the, the amount of rain uh, that we've seen. We've had favorable weather conditions. Uh, we had a really wet July. Um, you know, it, in, in looking back, you don't really see the, uh, 
it doesn't look like it rained every day, but we got really intense storms when it did rain. So um, that that really slows things down uh, versus, you know, kind of your standard or nice drizzle, I guess you could say. But uh, we have had some catch up that I know there were some additional crews put on on for a couple of weeks. And I think you've seen that progress through stage two. Uh, it kind of accelerated a bit there um, once we were able to get some additional crews out there. We're still a bit behind schedule at this point. We ideally we would have liked to get into that intersection this year um, and get that completed and checked off. But, uh, you know, uh, nature, nature and the rain didn't didn't help us out that much this year and, and just a few other things that came in during construction. So. Uh, we're making best efforts to get back on track and we're seeing the progress on site now.